welcome to Kim's Crafting Corner. I'm your host, Kim Thompson Pinder. And on Facebook today, I'm in a bunch of cricket and silhouette groups. I noticed a lot of people talking about using their own fonts. And so I thought it'd be easier to show you how to do it than to try to tell you. So I'm going to show you where to get fonts for free and how to upload them to your Windows 10 desktop or laptop. This will not work on a tablet. And unfortunately, I do not know how to upload fonts in the Mac. So you would have to Google or YouTube those type of videos if you have a Mac machine. So first of all, I'm gonna share my screen and I'm gonna take you over to fontbundles.net. Now, this is where you can find the really good fonts, and you can see up here free fonts. And uh, there's one here called Valentina. So I really like that one. So you can download now for free. I do have an account with them because uh, I use them on a regular basis. So you can just download it. Now, I've already got it saved here in my fonts file. So um, I won't save it again, but you just save it. And then what you're going to do is just come over here and uh, you're going to search down until you find it. There it is. So we need to extract it. So I right clicked on it. I'm going to click extract all and then extract. And somewhere here, sometimes at the bottom, sometimes up where it's supposed to be. There we go. You just open it, you open it again. Now on my computer, I use the OTT font files. I think I can use the TTF as well, but I find the OTF are the best ones. So you're just gonna take this one here, you're gonna right click on it and you're gonna click install. And it's giving me a message. So it looks like it installed, but it was half off the screen. So hopefully it is. So now what you're going to do is you're going to go into design space and you're, I've already got the word test there just to show you. You're going to click on it or you're going to write in your words. You come up here to font. Nope, sorry, font. And I just got clicked system fonts. So those are all the ones on my computer. And I'm, oh, would help if I typed it in properly. Valentina, there we go. Hit Valentina. And you can. Now, at this point, you know, I'm not going to go into how to adjust the fonts and the spacing and all that. I will do that on another video. So I'm just going to stop the screen share here. Or I think I did. Oh, there you go. Stop share. Ha -ha. Sometimes it's the evening and I can't find the right buttons. So anyway, that's how you upload fonts to your computer for you to use in Cricut Design Space. If you've enjoyed this video, I invite you to uh, come check out Kim's Crafting Corner Library membership. It's a free membership where you get a free design each week tutorial videos, resources, uh, craft ideas, lots of things going on to help you with your Cricut and your Silhouette machine and your crafting journey. And you can go to https colon backslash backslash. Do not use www, it will not work. Library.kimscraftingcorner.com. I think you can actually just put library.kimscraftingcorner.com, but we'll have to see. Anyway, you'll also see the link down in the show notes. Now, if you love lots of Cricut and Silhouette designs, I invite you to go check out my RTI Crafts Etsy store. And down below this video, you'll see a discount code as a thank you for watching this video. So this has been Kim Thompson Pinder, and we will see you on the very next one. Bye now.